Um, well, welcome to the Affinity Intercultural Foundations Luncheon Series. Uh, my name is Peter Manning. Uh, I'm an academic and a journalist. Um, and I'm also associate member at the moment of the Cosmopolitan Civil Society Research Centre, with a mouthful, uh, at the University of Technology Sydney. And the first important thing that I'd like to do uh, is to welcome people to this country, to this Aboriginal country. I would like to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation as the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we stand. We pay our respects to their elders, both past and present. In this room, uh, are representatives from about 40 different organisations, businesses and government departments. For example, we have the following uh, leaders present here today. Noel Haji Michael, the Chief Executive Officer of the New South Wales Parents Council. Ennis uh, Jinseva, uh, Chief Editor of Zaman Australia, the excellent a Turkish newspaper, quality ter Turkish newspaper. Fiona Clark, Assistant Director of the New South Wales Settlement and Multicultural Affairs Department of Social Services. Professor Rosemary Johnston, lecturer at UTS. Ahmed Aydigan, President of the Australian Rescue Organisation. Ahmed Imakulu, Deputy CEO of the Australian Universal Federation of Education and Culture, AUF. Mehmet Zaraal, Chairperson of Galaxy Foundation. Uh, Murat Yannick, Public Relations Manager of the Galaxy Foundation. Catherine Byrne, Deputy Commissioner of the New South Wales Police. Strath Gordon, Director of Public Affairs of the New South Wales Police. But the Reverend Father Martin Davies of the St. James Institute, Adrian Cunningham, Tribunal Director of the Catholic Archdiocese of Sydney, the Reverend Brian Vale, Christian Muslim Relations of the Columban Mission Institute, uh, and Chalando on Lui from the Philippine Consulate General in Sydney. Uh, Judge uh, Peter Johnson, President of the Children's Court of New South Wales. Dr. Zachariah Matthews, uh, Executive Director of the Just Media Ad Advocacy Group. Uh, Mr. Vic Alderheff, CEO of the New South Wales Jewish Board of Deputies. Mary Karras, Executive Officer of the Ethnic Communities Council of New South Wales. Jeremy Jones, Director of International and Community Affairs at AJAC. Brian White, President of the Buddhist Council of New South Wales. So, well, welcome all, uh, and thank you, whether you're coming on behalf of your own organisation or uh, as a personal representative. Um, for those of you who are at an affinity event for the first time, maybe allow me to briefly introduce you to the organisation. Affinity was formed by a group of young Australian Muslims in 2000 and incorporated in 2001. Their aim is to promote multiculturalism and foster intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different parts of society. That is why they organise events like this. Since its establishment, Affinity has organised international study tours, academic conferences, cultural exhibitions, Ramadan iftar dinners, and government-sponsored projects, among many other activities. <laughs> Each event provides ample networking opportunities, and as you can see here. So the circle of Affinity supporters grows each time and helps Affinity work in partnership with different segments of society. I would now like to introduce today's keynote speaker, and a very formidable speaker he is. 
Darren Goodsir is the Editor-in-Chief of the Sydney Morning Herald and the Sun Herald. Starting as a copy boy at News Limited in 1985, Darren spent the first part of his career as a police and crime reporter. He spent two years as a policy advisor for the New South Wales Police Commission before joining the South China Morning Post in Hong Kong in the lead up to the transfer of sovereignty from British rule to China. He joined Fairfax in 1997 and his roles have included news editor, chief of staff, transport editor, urban affairs editor and national security reporter. He was also the launch editor of Fairfax's online opinion site SMH online editor and has been a driving force in getting an integrated newsrooms and greater digital first practices. Darren has established two, has, sorry, Darren has published two true crime novels, one of which, Line of Fire, which is the basis for the acclaimed ABC TV miniseries Blue Murder, which you might recall. Uh, the subject of Darren's speech today, given the fact that the Sydney Morning Herald has that wonderful banner headline on the top every day, independent always, we thought this topic would be a very good one. Free media, ethical decision making and social responsibility. I give you Darren Goodson.